I'm going to be talking about the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Edit Palette. So it's $80 and it is a limited edition holiday palette. So once it's gone, like it's gone. They're not going to bring it back. So um, I'll just jump right in. Um, this is what it looks like. It is very, very shiny. Excuse all the fingerprints because Hourglass packaging is always incredibly shiny and leaves fingerprints all over everything. But this is what the palette itself looks like. Um, just looking at, haven't looked at pictures on this on Instagram, I thought that they would be a little bit bigger, but these are very, very small, small pans in here. But you do get six, um, you, you do get six items. So you do get a bronzer, and this is just a luminous bronzer. You get luminous flush, which is a, um, a blush right here and then mood exposure which is a more purple blush so let me get you guys some swatches of those okay so ignore this right here that's a lip swatch stain that is the bronzer that is um this is luminous flush and then this is mood exposure they are very very subtle colors they're all very sparkly um the way that, that Hourglass does their blushes and bronzers is they take some of their ambient lighting powders and then they mix the colors, um, the color powder in with it so you get that swirled effect there. And then on the top here, you get three highlighting powders. So there is... Almost, it's almost gonna, it's gonna be almost impossible to see swatches, honestly, because I'm not gonna sit here and like dig into this because of how how um, expensive it is but you get dim light which is here you get um what is this called iridescent light which is in this middle here and this last one here is called diffused light so those, these are the swatches here this is dim light diffused light and iridescent light um i'm sorry the swatches aren't very pigmented and again uh, again, it's an $80 palette, and it's very, very small amount, so I'm not going to, like, sit here and waste a whole bunch trying to make a lot of swatches, because you can find swatches on Instagram and other people's YouTube videos. Um, so I'm just going to talk about what these do. Um, I do have a demo of me putting these on, so I'll insert that here, just so you can see how it all applies. So, so I've already got my foundation and concealer done and set and all that, so I'm just going to use this as a... Um, bronzer, blusher, highlight combination thing here. So I'm going to take the bronzer uh, shade here, which is a uh, luminous bronze light, that's what it's called. I'm just going to take a, the Real Techniques multitasker brush go right in there. Maybe a little bit here. If you can see terribly well, and I like to just go in the hollows of my cheeks back here. I usually don't do a lot of contouring, so so I like just a little bit of color in that area to give myself the illusion of some cheekbones. So that's that. I'm going to go in with a different brush. This is the e.l.f. blush brush. It's just this small little thing like that there. I'm going to go in this center pink shade here, which is in the shade Luminous Flush. And pick up a decent amount there. And just paint that on. Okay, and there's these three different highlighting colors here, and each of them does something different got like this really white sparkly one here which is um, diffused light and then the center is iridescent light this is the one that's um, that's brand new to the to the line and this is dim light here so um, ir iridescent yeah so iridescent light is the sparkliest so I'm just gonna take the same brush um, just take the other side of it and I'm gonna take that shade there and I'm just gonna put that on the cheekbones here. It was it, it's meant to give you like a candlelight effect. So I'm just gonna do that just on the cheekbones there. 
And then I'm going in with Dim Light here, which is a much more um, subtle highlight. And I'm going to put that one on my nose and on the cupid's bow there. Because it's a lot less, it still reflects a lot of light, but it doesn't reflect it quite as like sparkly. And then um, the only one I'm not going to be using is the um, uh, diffused light one, which is that color there. And it's just a really bright, um, it's just a really bright, uh, almost yellow, white, almost yellow color. But okay, so that's the demo there. So I'll start off with the bronzer. Uh, the bronzer is very, very sparkly. You can kind of see it shimmery up in there. It does give a nice um, contoury or a bronzy look. Um, it's a nice soft brown. It's a little on the warm side. I tend to prefer cooler bronzers, um, but this one is more warm than cool. If So if you like cool matte bronzers, you probably won't like this. Because it is very, it, there's a lot of um, shimmer to it. There's a lot of almost almost sparkles in it I'm honestly looking at it like can you see can you see how, how it sparkles there so the whole point of the ambient line powders is to give like a lip from within type of glow and I feel like for a bronzer there's just too much sparkle in it because I feel like a bronzer is just something to warm up your face a little bit, not necessarily draw attention to the fact that you have a bronzer on, and I feel like that how much shimmer is in this bronzer kind of detracts from that. So anyway, moving on. The two blushes here are, um, like I said, Luminous Flush and Mood Exposure. The Luminous Flush is what I'm wearing here. It's a very, very subtle pink, but it is a, a light, warm pink color that I like a lot. Um, so it gives you a nice subtle flush rather than a super pigmented blush. So if you like really pigmented blush, you just have to tap your brush in, sweep over, and you're done. You're not going to like any of these because they are very subtle. Um, it's a little bit buildable, but not by much because it does have that other color swirled into it. And then the marbling that's in this palette has more, um, less less of the pink color and more of the, um, the luminous color swirled into it. So then the Mood Exposure one is a more purple color. Um, um, it's a lot more subtle than the um, than the flushed is. I have very pale skin, as you can see, and I had a lot of trouble building this up to a point where I could actually see it. So I'm probably not going to use that one too, too much. Um, but it does the marbling, and it does give you a nice, like, highlighted glow. Just not a lot of color. So what you could do is put like another um, subdued purple taupey kind of blush underneath it and then put this one on top to get that kind of oomph to it. But I feel like this isn't really a necessary thing. But that's just my opinion. I don't know if anyone else, uh, other people probably do like it. But anyway, so then these two up top here, uh, Dim Light and uh, I keep forgetting what it's called. Dim light and diffused light are um, available on their own in large um, large sizes, but the one that's unique to this palette is this this um, here in iridescent light. This one is meant to be of kind of a strobe. Um, this one is meant to follow that strobing um, highlight type of trend thing that's going on now. Um, both of these ones, the iridescent and the dim light, can be used as um, face setting powders. I use dim light a lot to, for, for just a setting powder. And then I prefer to use the iridescent light because it has a lot of sparkle in it. Um, I prefer to use that as a highlighter, so that's what I'm using as my highlight today. And I've got dim light on my nose and my cupid's bow because it has a much more subtle glow to it, whereas iridescent light is more of a traditional highlight color but still not like as intense as you would get from um, the Balm's Mary Luminizer. And then the last one is um, this diffused light one here. It's just a kind of a white color. And this one is, a, you can get a pretty decent highlight from it. It's, um, it's that, that one there. Um, you, can, you can get a decent, more subtle highlight on the tops of the cheekbones, with this one, um, I went with the 
the one unique to this palette because it is unique to this palette today and because you get a little bit more oomph to it. So the diffused light is going to be a lot more subtle. Um, I, I tried using it to set my under eyes a couple times just to see if I liked it or not. I don't really, it doesn't really work in that direction. But it's just a, a subtle highlight. It works pretty well on the, like for an everyday going to work type. Um, it does work pretty well on the cheekbones and on the, the bridge of the nose. So overall, I do like the palette. However, the question then becomes, is it worth 80 flippin' dollars for this? Um, I will say that I don't own this palette. Like, I haven't, I didn't buy this myself. This is my mom's, and she lent this to me so I could try it out and see if I like it. Um, I personally would not spend $80 for this because of how small the pans are, for one thing. And I want to compare that to their ambient lighting palette, which I do have and I like a lot. This is their ambient lighting palette that's been out for a while. And um, if you want to compare Dim Light, which is this color. Dim Light isn't the only one that's in both of them. But Dim Light here compared to Dim Light there. I mean, this one's a lot smaller than, than this one. This one is a $58 palette, and this is $80. So, um, the only... The only, I like this one a lot. I actually prefer this one to this one. The only um, reason this one isn't like crazy used up is because I've been panning some other stuff and then I'm gonna get really into this one. Um, I really like these three down here, but, and I really like this um, flushed, but these two, um, mood exposure and the bronzer, I could probably do without. Um, so that's already four of, Four out of six of the powders that I actually do like and then and then you've got these ones here and I'll just make some quick notes about this one because you have dim light again which you can use as an all-over setting powder you have like incandescent light which is you can only get it in this palette is the center one here so you have incandescent light which is a really good um, glow powder for your um, subtle highlight color um, which I like better than this one this white one here than diffused light for um, a subtle highlight color and then you also get radiant light here which is this kind of bronzy orange color and I actually really like doing that like more so than I like that bronze in the bigger palette putting it in here so um, I actually would rather pay and I got this at the VIB sale too, so I didn't pay $58 for it, but I'd rather pay $58 for this than $80 for this. Um, so personally, I don't think this is worth $80. I'm not going to buy one for myself, even though I like these powders, just not enough that it's $80 worth. I would, however, pay $60 for it. I think that this one is a little overpriced, to be honest. Um, I would prefer that one to be $40 or $50, but it's hourglass, so what are you going to do? <sighs> But, um, I wouldn't, so I wouldn't pay $80 for this, but I would pay $60. So what I want to do is wait, this, this, this is a limited time only deal. So if you, and it's a good, like, try it kit, you know, the, um, the powders for Hourglass run $45 I think for the ambient lighting ones and then 30 something for the blushes and the bronzers I think are 30 something too and they're bigger pans I mean you got these little pans here but the pans for there are like half the size of this palette so you do get you get nice big pans and it's stuff you can use every day um so if you're looking for a like try it kit um this might be a good introduction to hourglass um if you want a nice test it out and try it and see if you like um, like these here this is also a good thing for that that's slightly less expensive depending on what you're looking for but if you already have some of these colors I don't think it's worth getting getting this palette unless you're looking to collect it um, so what I'm planning on doing is I'm not gonna buy this for myself unless it is still available when the VIB sale comes around um, this this November I believe where you can get 20% off 10 to 20% off depending on your status and I would pay $60 for this so if it's around I'll probably get it in November if it's not around like I'm not gonna fuss about I don't own it so 
um, yeah. So that's what I think on that. Uh, let me know if you have any comments or questions or anything, and I will see you guys later. Bye.